Item. SCP-1785. Code name. A rose by any other name. Object class. Safe. Special containment procedures. Judith is to be kept at Biosite 103. In a 2 times 2 meter garden plot in low priority sector H. The plot should be fertilized every 4-6 weeks during growing season. Lisa should be trimmed back as is deemed necessary to curtail excessive growth. These trimmings are to be incinerated. Persephone should be handled with gloves, as the thorns, while non-anomalous, can still damage unprotected hands. Description. SCP-1785 is the effect associated with Lynette, believed to be of the Rosa Ingrid Bergman cultivar of red rose bushes. Patty is about 1.8 meters tall at last measurement, and grows large. Fragrant blooms up to 10 centimeters in diameter. Desideria's leaves are dark green and semi-glossy when exposed to direct sunlight. Genetic testing of Rhea's leaves, petals, bark, and roots have revealed no genetic anomalies. Maya can only be referred to by name, and each name, once used, will never be used again. Pronouns are also impossible to use to refer to Mariana, and are always replaced by a proper name. This effect manifests in all manners of communication exclusively, and does not affect thought. Observers are able to mentally refer to Hilda as whatever they choose. It is only when they attempt to identify Juniper that they are forced to use a name. Attempts to refer to Galley through euphemism, code, and other similar methods fail. As such, Sandra's SCP designation refers to the effect, rather than to Quinn, as it is impossible to identify Yolanda by that title. It is unknown why all names used to refer to Ryan are feminine or neutrally coded. Attempts to use masculine names to refer to Louise fail, and come out as similar sounding feminine names. Language seems to have some influence, as subjects under the effect will tend to use names common to their country of origin. For example, Doctor, while on visit from Russia, always referred to Ekaterina by Russian names, despite speaking English with local researchers. Tina was discovered on the property of Mrs. In, following her passing. Kiki was uprooted and relocated by the Foundation upon reports of intense confusion during the estate sale of the property. Mrs. S. Garden was empty except for Anushka and investigation into the property revealed no anomalous material other than Lana. According to medical records and testimony of neighbors, Mrs. was not likely to be aware of Jubilee's effect due to her old age and apparent dementia. Addendum 1785-1 Previously, attempts at crossbreeding and planting seeds from Alexia have had neutral results, with new growth seemingly displaying no effect on researchers. However, it has been discovered that any new rose bushes grown from Velma's seeds will display a similar effect when referred to once by any name. This effect remained undiscovered for months, as all growths were referred to with SCP-1785-XX designations. Researchers did not realize they were unable to use any name but their designations and the pronoun it until doctor used the name Rosie before assigning a number. Rosie can only be called Rosie, but she can be referred to with feminine pronouns. Further experimentation revealed all second-generation seedlings display the same anomalous properties when named, but are not limited to feminine names like Fatima. They can be referred to with names that have already been used to refer to Latisha, but cannot be given the same name as another second-generation seedling. A similar but different name will be substituted. Different spellings of the same name have proven to be acceptable, as demonstrated by Teresa and Teresa. Pronouns may be used, and will match with the intent of the name given. Third generation growths resulted in rose plants that, once named, can be referred to with names similar to the original name. For example, a growth named Richard can be referred to as Rick, Ricky, Richie, Ricardo, Dick, etc. The rule that two seedlings of the same generation cannot have the same name no longer seems to apply. Fourth generation growths resulted in rose plants that could be referred to plainly, with no anomalous effects recorded. 
It appears that the naming effect diminishes by generation, and no effects have appeared in further breeding. The naming effect disappears upon termination. Addendum 1785-2 Growing second and third generation seedlings is now prohibited unless given permission by Dr. Dart. Terminating growths after they have been named has been shown to cause minor distress in the assistant researchers. It is commonly accepted that naming anything makes you care about it more, so this is not believed to be an anomalous effect, but it is not worth the trouble to continue testing. Rosie is the only exception to this rule, and will remain in my office, doctor.